Yellowstone National Park's mysterious geyser. What's the cause? Over the past 20 years, the Norris Geyser Basin in Yellowstone National Park has experienced erratic ups and downs. Scientists believe this is caused by trapped magma underground. National Geographic noted that from 1,996 to 2004, the Norris Geyser Basin rose 12 centimeters. Then, from 2005 to 2013, it sank 7 centimeters. It then rose again between late 2013 and early 2014 at a rate of 15 centimeters per year, the fastest recorded rise in Yellowstone. A 4.9 magnitude earthquake in the area in 2014 caused the land to move more slowly until 2019. Now, the basin has been found to be 13 centimeters higher. To investigate, scientists focused on the magma system beneath Yellowstone, which has been studied since 1979. The discovery of this magmatic system motivated our search to understand the causes of uplift and subsidence near Norris, said Daniel Zurison, a researcher at the U.S. Geological Survey, USGS Cascades Volcano Observatory. The researchers used GPS and satellites to map and track events at Norris and the Yellowstone caldera over time. There are about two dozen GPS stations in the park that operate continuously, providing very precise information about the three-dimensional ground motion at the site, said Zurison. GPS and satellite data indicate the cause of the chaotic movement at Norris Geyser Basin. This revealed a magma intrusion approximately 16 kilometers underground, which caused uplift from 1,996 to 2001. During the 2013 to 2014 and 2016 movements, 
bubbles were observed emerging from the magma. This magma accumulated in 2013, forming a sealed underground reservoir that ruptured during the 2014 earthquake. When the reservoir ruptured, some of the fluids escaped and sank above the reservoir, causing them to flow westward and upward along surrounding underground faults and fractures. In 2016, these fluids escaped again and accumulated closer to the surface. As a result of the trapping of these fluids, the overlying land rose, and when they were removed and moved to a new location, the land sank. This research is the first to identify a complete magma intrusion cycle and the underground fluids that escaped. Scientists, as reported by National Geographic, Estimates that this event this is related to increased network. activity at Steamboat Geyser in the Norris Geyser Basin area in 2018. In the future, Zurison and his research team eruption. hope to be this able to study the fluids that bubble through the surface to see if there are chemical signs of magmatic activity. processes. Were, we would have seen many different changes, lots of seismicity, ground deformation, gas... hot water and steam. Some of the rocks that fell out were three feet across, weighed hundreds of pounds.